The trainer's poked out here along with the dancing bear at first base. KK shift one two eight. And we got a little uh, more internationals, intercontinental yeah. testing going on here. I'll be playing the popular Malamar Necrozma deck. Not Ultra Necrozma, the regular Necrozma, Don Wings, and other Necrozma. And Caden, what are you playing? The hyped up Trevenant with Zorak deck. So Zoro Trees. So, if you're into this sort of thing, and you like it, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting a like, leave a comment on any matchups you'd like to see in the future. Heads? Tell us, I'll go first. So the game plan is, tomorrow night we're going to try to do a set review of SM7. Give our opening thoughts on uh, what we feel might be good from that set. And then, uh, I don't know. I'm definitely going to start out with a card. Spoiler alert. Requires a GX. Oh. I'm going to focus a lot of tension around that and the new Septal. So, we'll just see how things go. Maybe uh, tomorrow night we do the set review, which is Friday night, and then maybe this weekend, if we're not too tired from baseball tournament. Caden has a Pokemon tournament Saturday, and then baseball tournament Sunday. So maybe if we're not too tired, we can get to... Uh, a Rayquaza deck or a Sceptile deck. Sceptile wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. That's what's gonna happen each time Sceptile gets a knock gets a knockout, you're gonna hear some dude come on and go whoop dee Like on Mortal Kombat, I don't know. I don't know, the viewers may be a little too young for the old Mortal Kombat first edition when that dude would pop up and do that whenever you would uppercut him. So, just go with it. Let's talk about how we think this matchup's going to go. What do you think? I think it's in this deck's favor of the trees. I agree. Because, like, Don Wings, it's going to take four energies to attack. And it gets one shot by Zorg. And Yeah, and then, like, uh, the other Necrozma, you still have to put three on it. Or, actually, you still have to put four to do the attack. Now, I think, I think Ultra Necrozma destroys the Zoro Tree deck. For that reason, the Ultra Necrozma has to have three energies well most of the time you want three energies to one shot everything so I don't Gosh. see Trevenant be a problem being a problem for it when Phil Blower the floats Ball. another NK. Sycamore. What plate? Parallel. Max Lix. Hits. Touch return. And pass. Sorry. 
So what are you thinking about with uh, the Rayquaza? You know what I'm talking about. For those that don't know, uh, when you put it from your hand into play, you can discard the top three cards and then put a basic energy from your discard pile and attach it to a Pokemon. Now, I need clarification whether it's uh, attached to him or attached to any, or or if the uh, energy has to be one of the three that you discarded. So I gotta do a little more research okay. on that. And then it does, uh, you can discard your hand and draw 10 cards. So 40. it's like Big Wheel. Then, I'll just go Sycamore. Max looks. Hits. There. Retreat. Actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Retreat. Then I'll use... Uh, I want to use GX60. Alright, we'll just do 180 for the knockout. So, anywho, the Rayquaza for Grass, Lightning, Totalus, it does uh, 30 damage for each basic energy you have in play. So, straight away with just the simple attack cost, that's 90 damage, choice band 120. So, you only need three more energies on your side of the field to one shot pretty much anything. To do the 210 magic number. So, and I mean, it's not that hard to get six energies into play, especially if you can discard the top three and then just put any energy card from your discard pile into play. That's extremely solid. So, thoughts on how to play it? Play the. R Rayquaza. I mean, probably the same way that you the Japanese play it. They've been successful. Well, they have a different format. A little different. Trade. So that's the problem is his deck can one shot everything. Energy press. That I have. Which is no way no. No way no. Touch, flip stone, cards in hand. A lot. Eight. I think I'm a sick one. See, here's where we're getting to a problem. 
What, why am she short? Yeah. Oh, it's, the deck's good. It's working. It's just, that's a major problem for me. We're gonna do Wudu. It's almost like you can't grab that oh. with Mysterious Treasure. Indeed. Alright, we'll grab NK. And it's not like it does anything, you already have Parallel City in play. Well, I was just gonna get something. Don't worry about what I'm doing over here. You worry about your your side of the field. Well, I'm supposed to worry, worry about, about it my... when you're trying okay. to grab a fighting Pokemon with Mysterious All right, Treasure. So, two Malamars. Wow. Well, that part you did fine. But don't worry about it, even if I grab it. You might have Floatstone or something. So, right. Um, <clears throat> Phil Blower, the choice man. And then Invasion, there. Pass. Uh, Phil Blower. That's the one. Trade number one. So, you think Vikavolt. Uh, Rayquaza is the way to go, huh? Like the Bulu decks. Yeah. I can definitely see that. That's one version I do want to test. The other version is combination with Septal. Shuffle on three. I've been thinking about a partner for Septal, and I was kind of leaning towards Shining Genesect. But now I'm leaning towards Rayquaza as a natural partner. So you play your Max Elixirs and you play your Septals and Rayquaza is your main attacker. And then you can even throw in Shining Genesect also as a nice non-GX prize. What do you think? Sounds good. So we're going to trust a lot of ideas getting ready for Worlds. Um, Caden only needs like a fourth place finish and then a League Cup win to get his world's invite. So, we're not too worried on the current format stuff. We kind of know where it is, and that's the Malamar decks and Buzzwall decks, and then, you know, Zorak de decks always have the potential to show up. If teched in the right cards. So. Going for a silent fear. It's been a while. Touch. Guzma Lily. You attach the energy for pretty much no reason. Once again, don't worry about what I'm doing. Two Malamar abilities. Yeah, I screwed up. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Because I could have taken a knockout one. Now Guzma up. Sorry, folks. Rewind. Here's my Zork. Sorry about that. I need to focus on this game and not Rayquaza. I think mm -hmm. Rayquaza is going to be super good, though. Alright, we'll do Charismatic Burst for the knockout. Matchup's actually closer than I think, than I thought. I 
Probably. And energy press drawing for the move. You're not even gonna put up an act Pokemon, are you? So if that makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. uh, plenty of free traders. Yeah, all right. Where? Three Malamars. Forced to do that since I can't take a knockout. Touch. Psychic Sphere for 60. Is it? Is it? Sixty. Turn. No, sixty, doofus. That's basics. Yep. Okay. Good cheating. See that, folks? He tells me, oh, I was going to toss you one more energy to attack. Just so I put more energy on Mally. Cheating. Guzma. You have the 30 on it, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 160, 70, 80, 90. You going first? Yeah. 
Does it look like I'm playing Night March? I guess not. No. I want to watch out for the Mew triple energies. And then I do my Black Ray GX or Dawn Wings GX or Tapu Cure, you know. One Malamar ability, another Malamar ability, invasion. Right, 
ничего. No DC nerd. Oh, Pass. This is my Trev. Retreat. One Malamar ability. Invasion. Then 120. Trade two. And I get some killer price cards. Lately. Those two. Field bar, two foot stones. And pass. Treasure fail. Malamar ability. There. So good. Go blow out the floats. Put 
one there. Yeah, 120. Choice band. Choice band. And Right, speeding. Treasure. Touch to Malamars. Parasmatic burst. Up turn. Sore. Back down. Energy press. Touch. Dos Malis. DCE and then a Pokemon. Is that enough? No, you need two Pokies. He needs DCE or Choice Band. DCE, Choice Band, Pokey. He's got DCE. He needs a Zor. Now he needs a couple more Pokies. 20, 40, 60, 80. So you're at 160. Choice Band or one more Pokey? Get that one. That's game, folks. Okay. Whoa, why would you do that? Just put um the parallel folks. Good and tricky. And what's he going to do? You gotta win here because I'm one shotting you with that. If I you get can energy. find an energy. I get an energy. Off of one card. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Don't you worry about me and my one card. I'm going to draw exactly what I need. Or not. Are you kidding me? Is it actually an energy? Ride speeding. Okay. Cindy? Same thing. Uh huh. You gotta get oh. an energy. Hey, it's not the same thing. 20, 40, 60, 80. So I could do Lele for sure. For 80? Here we go, Cindy, my girl. My girl, Cindy. There's your six. What is that? Shuff or. <laughs> what? What was that crap? Why'd you do that? It was six from the bottom. Mm. I can draw my own cards. I don't need my opponent. Cut or tap. Stop. Cut or tap. There. I cut. Shouldn't have cut. Surprise, two phantoms. That hurt. Even with that Lele search when I looked at the deck, the DCEs were spread out. It's That's what killed you is when you whipped the DC on the Zork. You get DC there, that's game over. Mm -hmm. But that's the way Pokemon go. I go first. Pass. Pass. Draw. Attach. Which one? By the way. How many cards are in your hand? Three.
this one. Card signal. So, Yeah, I did not want to do that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to play Mystery Treasure, but I discarded the wrong thing. Discarding the energy was the wrong thing? Yeah, discard Inke. Okay. And then I grabbed Malamar, so shuffling. Mm -hmm. And yes, discarding the energy was the wrong thing, because then I can't retreat. Actually, no. That was the wrong play, too. Ah, oh, jeez. Inke back in hand. Discard that. Malamar's ability. Okay? How you can retreat? I have float stone. Okay? Trying to get it right. I was on... So I just went with my instincts there. So, Parismatic Burst. Two prize. I hate playing this deck. Eva Soto? Choice band. Already in hand. Why? And then energy press.
catch return. Double Malamar ability. One right there, one right there. <clears throat> Energy drive, one point. Trade number two. press for 130. Invasion, then retreat. There's my first. Choice band. Wow, we added the third choice band, huh? Yeah, touch DCE. This is too important to the deck. Energy press.
looks well. What would you be doing with Guzma? Guzma absorb and then hit with his GX. Find a float stone or a Guzma or a Cedar or trade something. Invasion. You have game. Shadow, but then I didn't have a way to get Guzma. Lele was prized. You would have needed N. Not Guzma. So I have flipped some NDC in here. So I think the matchup's closer. It's actually closer than I thought it would be. I agree. And so I played it online. And then I saw it a little close. So, so what do you think about the Zora trees? I think it's good. I think it's really good, too. It's pretty fun. So, yeah, it looks fun. Since I probably won't ever get to play it again. Mm -hmm. So, anywho, thanks for uh, hanging with us. And tomorrow night, if we're not too tired, we'll try to get the uh, SM7 uh, set review up and going. So, until then, be excellent to each other. I'm already on, dudes. <laughs>